So, you've made your college decision. Now what? Hey everyone, it's me, Jordan Page, coming at you from Richmond, Texas, instead of Vancouver, BC. As you can tell, today's video is about what do you do after you make your college decision? Making your college decision is definitely probably if one of the most stressful, if not the most stressful part about going to college because you're trying to figure out where you want to spend the next few years of your life. However, things don't just figure themselves out after you've made your college decision. There's still a lot that there is to take care of. One of the first things is housing. If you go to a school that has on-campus housing, then part of it's already taken care of, but you may want to be looking into, you know, what type of room are you going to have? How many roommates are you going to have? Is there anyone you want to room with? So definitely start thinking about those things and don't leave them until the last minute or else you might be put with people that you may not get along with. And if you can have a say over the preference of the type of person you'd like to room with, I would definitely take advantage of that. Or if you go to a school like I did that doesn't have on-campus housing, start looking at, uh, you know, areas around the school uh, for what, you know, where you can live. You know, are there apartment complexes that fit the amount you're able to spend? You know, do you need to find a roommate for there? Uh, what areas of town are safe? Those are all things that are very important and also are not to be left until the last minute. Uh, the other thing is if you made your college decision before you finished high school or before you finished a job, Finish that up. <laughs> if it's high school, you get to graduate, which is super fun, super great. Uh, I do want to say I apologize to the class of 2020 that uh, the pandemic has messed some things up for you, but you can still have a very memorable graduation experience because you will never forget what was going on in the world when it happened. Another thing you may want to start thinking of is if you want to be able to, to have an income while you're at school is maybe start looking around for some areas that you can apply for a part-time job. I apologize. Kind of forgot what I was saying because there was a wasp in my room. And here comes my cat. Right on time. Anyway, there also is the matter of trying to figure out what you want to bring to school with you because if you're living in a dorm room, it is likely smaller than the things you own in your house or the apartment you live in. So I would say plan a little bit ahead and try to figure out if there are some certain things you definitely want to bring with you or certain things that you don't care about bringing with you. Bottom line, it's going to change depending on what college you decide to go to because some colleges may have specific things they want you to do before the school year starts and others may not have those requirements. But either way, just make sure to look and pay attention to what your school may want you to do and try to be as prepared as possible for the big life change that's about to happen. I think that's about it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you all are staying healthy and safe with your family and I will see you in the next video.